So you just watched about how to run a regression on Desmos. It's very similar uh, if you're running any sort of regression for a pattern. So I just kind of made up this data right here. So the first thing we should notice is there's no uh, there's no data right here on the graph. That's because the window is wrong. So of course x is going to go from 0 to 8 and y is going to go from about um, 2,000 to 4,000, somewhere around there. So I'm going to adjust. Let's put x at negative uh, 1, and we'll put, uh, we'll go all the way up to like 10 or something like that. And then y, we can go from 2,000 to about 4,500. All right, now we see our data points. That actually makes sense. So now we're going to model these with a uh, with an equation, we can use this, the data set y1, and is not equal to, is this squiggly because we're running a regression, and then a times b to the x, but of course we want to use this list, x1. So here we go, x1 and y1, that's our data, here's our regression, you can see this line, um, this curve here is fitting our data fairly well. We can see that A is 2,358.2 and B is about 1.067. So we know our equation is Y equals 2,358.2 times 1.067 to the X. That's what models our data here. That means we have a starting value of about 2,358 and we're growing at about 6.7 percent. Of course you can trace along here and get any estimate you want. You can also throw that uh, equation in and then convert it to a table and you can throw any value in you want. Let's say I wanted to know what about year 9 that'd be up here. If I didn't want to trace it, throw that in there. You can see it puts a dot in. Here's our value. What about 15 far in the future here? Gives us an estimate. That'll be way up here. Gives us that point. So you can use this to, to make any estimate that you want. Just like linear, but we're using the exponential equation.